Okay, so here we've got three simple tricks for attack. Entry Fragger Edition. Hope you enjoy. Okay, tip number one. I'm going to go against a lot of people here by saying what I'm about to say, but don't feel the need to drone every single room. Whenever you're droning, like the enemies are going to see the drone before you see them. If you can enter the building without them, then it'll make a massive difference in the round. Listen to what I do here. Think I'm running away. Let me drone it. I'm right definitely going to take actually playing in a stack uh, they're doing a four-man push from bunker I'm flanking from the other side uh, this isn't obviously planned this is just how we play I'm playing entry frag or pushing from the other side of the building the reason why I deafen is so then I can hear the enemies like say for instance if anybody's holding white holding the security white freezer wherever it just makes it so you're able to hear them nothing against the teammates or anything like that it's just that I don't want to affect their gameplay by trying to do my own different thing uh, and as you can see in a minute when I get back into sight You'll see that I undefined so then the calls that they're making are actually relevant to how I'm playing. On the right side. On the right side door. Door. Big car. Yes, Debbie, nice. Okay, so tip number two kind of filters into two, tip number one as well. But whilst you're pushing in, you gotta make sure that you're aiming down sight and not just aiming like chest, feet. I know everyone says it, gotta be aiming at head. If you're walking in, aiming at head level, you just need to get that one shot and it's an easy win. Mental, really, because it's such an easy, quick little change, but still, nobody really does it. The amount of time just spectating somebody and they're just walking around aiming at somebody's like chest, knees. Uh, you've got to have that confidence to know you're going to hit your shots. Even if you don't hit your shots originally, you can always reposition. You'll see here, I actually walk on Legion, and Legion's crouched, so I have to pull down to actually shoot him. And then again, somebody's actually laying down, and I was aiming at like the head level, so I pull down again. But it's not a lot better to be shooting at someone's head and then dragging down than it is to be shooting at someone's stomach and then dragging up. It's because you'll be doing more damage shooting at somebody's chest and head than you will be at their like stomach legs because of the hitbox multipliers and all that sort of technical stuff let me get the ace last tip kind of is a bit universal works both ways works for defense and attack and it's to actually just use all your ammo like say for instance at the moment i'm playing thinker you've got about what five six clips worth of ammo but realistically you only really need about like 60 bullets but if you're going to sit there and actually push pre-fire people, then you can easily go through all of them and you can sometimes get some free kills. I'll show you some clips at the end of me getting random wall bangs and uh, easy little free kills just because I start pre-firing. I don't know if you noticed, but in the start of the, start of the video, you see me playing Ash. After I get the last kill, you notice that I have low ammo. It's because I've used all of the bullets because I'm just pre-firing where the enemy might be. Didn't know where the Echo was, but I still pre-fired him and got the kill because I was using all of my ammo. You just got to, uh, it's not even anything to do with confidence or anything like that. Just use it. You've got the ammo, just use it and I can guarantee you, you'll start getting more kills. I know this is an attacker based video, but I wanted to show you some clips of where the enemy are actually doing it against me and I'm kind of doing the same sort of thing against them, even though I have a shotgun. So it's a 1v1 situation, the guy's in sight. I'm inside. I have a shotgun. He's playing so far. He's got a good gun. I've got a good gun. And we're both just pre-firing each other and not being able to push each other because we are both pre-firing. If we was playing against maybe a, like a less skilled player, he, I could just walk straight up to him. Probably just pre-fired him with a shotgun. But because he's pre-fired me, I can't push because it doesn't matter what way I go, I, go, I guess I get pre-fired. So he just got lucky at the end there where he didn't shoot. Thanks. But whereas if he did pull out his uh, gun and actually started shooting me there and pre-fired like it was earlier, it would have went a different way and he really would have run around. Okay. But I'll show you some more clips of uh, me doing the same sort of thing. I understand what sounds. Last one, Skisha. Yep, he's on there. He's on drums. He's in A now, coming to the A door. He's coming through A now. It's a shit. Nice! Well done, bro. I didn't see any on Logic, but they could also be there, I don't know. They didn't bring forth the board. I don't know. <laughs> Leash was AFK, he's dead. <laughs> what 
I mean, it was obvious she's right, but still all me. 